to the audience. Have to have these games on top in order to have them playing. Ugh, video preview. Why do you not work for me? So I, I, I am probably live. Usually. Okay, yeah, see? We're live. It just takes forever to live. Alright. Blackwell Convergence, third part in the series. We're gonna just get right into it. Yep. They didn't ask me for tutorials. We don't need it where we're going. We have a new cursor too. Yeah, the style kind of changed with each game. Hello? Anybody there? That's a you huge really style expect change. An I okay. was just checking. Well, you checked. Now open the door and let's see what's in there. Oh, oh this tutorial. Nope, going in blind. <laughs> Joey, the door is locked. Yeah, I can see that. Looks like it's up to me. Okay, we can switch. Are the cursor changes when you switch? Yeah, did you notice hmm, there's blue charming. now? Charming. Well, yeah. what do you see? Nothing. Yet. I'll see if there's a way to open that door. How are you gonna open the door? Can't say you much say for the see. decor. Oh. Looks like there's something below you. Yeah. Looks like a paper clip. Hey, Dollface, I got a present for you. Oh. Joey, a paper clip just blew past my shoe. It's all yours, darling. What do I do with this? <laughs> Try opening the door with it. Does that actually work? Sure, why not? Sure, <laughs> why not? There's a lot of dust covering those sheets. So we're breaking I, and entering. Desk drawers. Well, it looks abandoned, so it's not. It's anywhere? really coming down in buckets. I'm just looking around to click on stuff and get his thoughts. Alright, guess I'll switch. Paperclip. I have no idea how to do this. Just keep trying, darling. It's an old door. It shouldn't be any trouble. It keeps slipping. This isn't going to... work. Oh ye of little faith. No ghosts. Not yet. Do you think something's coming? Oh, uh, I'll be right back. Sure. You do I your feel thing. something. Okay. Might as well take a look around first, just in case. Take a look around. Well, now that Relatives we're here. of yours, Joey? Huh? You know, the spooky sheet. I don't get it. Never mind. <laughs> here Looks like the workers left this one behind. Either that or they put it up before leaving. Oh wait, and we had a newspaper too, but I'll wait on that. I can't move the desk. It's too heavy. Looks like an old desk. Looks like the workers left this either that or they The view from here is incredible. Whoever owned this place must have done very well. Okay. Covered furniture. Relatives of yours, Joey? No, she huh? said that for yeah, the furniture. Know. So that's furniture too. Sheets. Uh I don't see anything down here. Door? I could talk to Joey. Joey. What is it? What is it? Why are we here again? You feeling okay? You read the article, same as me. Read it again if you can't remember. <laughs> yeah, I guess That's I will have to. Sure. Ugh. March 15th, 2007. Mostly cloudy storms. Campaign jinx by Jeremy Sams. City Commissioner hopeful Alex Silva announced a home base change yesterday after renovations of the new campaign headquarters at 354 West 80th failed to go as planned. This decision comes after months of difficulty. Three construction contractors hired to do renovations have all left the job without warning. None of the contractors could be reached for comment. But Silva's critics have jerked the campaign is jinxed before it's even begun. Is there more pages to this? No. Um, so what did I miss? Uh, not much. I haven't made any progress since you got here. I just looked at the newspaper. Seems like we're dealing with, like, someone new was elected or something. For, I don't know. Position and 
So what's with this third place? I don't see anything on the ground. She no. I wonder how much of you like this costs. Probably worth millions, even if it is haunted. I think I talked to I'm everything, but I didn't left click everything. Okay. Oh. I'm not opening. Uh -huh. Oh. I see oh, Joey. something. Yeah. I think I found it. <laughs> she didn't freak out or anything. Look at that. Oh, I think she got What's used to it by there? now. Probably. There's only one way to find out. <laughs> I am not climbing out onto the window ledge. What are you kidding? Leave the dangerous stuff to the dead guy. <laughs> he's got his spooky smile. All right, let's see what this spook has to say. Yeah, there's certain yeah, things they the don't change. I'll wait here. Such a weird person to have the quirk when he does that. Hello. Stay back. I mean it. Oh. I'll do it. Uh, I'll you do probably it. already did it. Uh, I'm gonna question his presence. What are you go doing out here? I... I don't know. There's no place left for me to go. There's gotta be a better place than this. Come on inside. Don't come any closer. I swear I'll... I swear jump. I'll jump. Jump? <laughs> here to kill yourself? Maybe. I don't know. I can't think of anything else to do. There's on the ledge. There's a ghost on the ledge of an empty high-rise office. Starting jump. Can't think of anything else to do. Jump from boredom. Hey, let's get out of this rain. What rain? Um, this rain? Take a look around. It's pouring cats and dogs out here. I don't feel any rain. That's because... Ah, forget it. <laughs> it's like he never remembers. They, they're they all crazy, or they don't recognize what's going on. Well, well the thing is that sometimes just telling the common sense might, like, oh, you're right, it is raining. I guess maybe it could, because, you know, they work on cases not covered in the games, but in the games it's never happened. Um, I think this that might be too easy. little too late. What do you mean? I mean you can't kill yourself. You're already dead. What? I said you're already dead. That's... sick. sick. <laughs> you're insane. Get off my <laughs> ledge. <laughs> okay. Hey, I'm Joey. What's your name? Why should you care? Does it matter? You don't know me. You don't know anything about me. I want to help you. Give me something to work with here. You don't know me at all. Nobody knows me at all. Aw, oh, he's depressed. Hey, I'm Joey. What's okay, I just wanted to see if that were the... Oh, trigger ...get different line. stuff, yeah. Look, I'll be back. Um, don't do anything stupid. What if it has to deal with that paper of ours? Maybe. I just want to make sure, well, there's nothing else different to talk from the outside. about. Wait, what about that smiley? Oh, oh man, what a view! I can even see the Hudson River from here. Snazzy as it would be, I can can't just float off into the skyline. Besides, I've got a job to do. Float off into the skyline. Wait, couldn't you just like float off the ledge and like, look, I'm flying. Uh, he it's doesn't want to. He doesn't want to walk too far. No, no, I got it, but just to like say, hey. Oh right, look what I can do. You Man, can do it too. Man, this is going to be awkward. Why is that? The guy's threatening to jump. Jump. Yeah. Well, how can he? Yeah, it's an odd one. Uh, hey, dollface, get your head out of the clouds and over here. Oh uh, yes. Can I check the newspaper real quick? Ooh. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna discuss the note, right, and then I'll look at the newspaper for you. Our friend on the ledge seems more scared than confused. How so? He's aware of his surroundings, at least, and when he talks, he actually makes sense. That's more than you can say for most spooks. Our friend on the ledge... Okay. Newspaper. Well, yeah. Switch. It says March 15, 2007, so we've had quite a jump in time. And... Wait, how many years since her year? Whose year? It's from the first game. I think the first game... I forget. When did the first game take place? It was... 90s? This is 10 years later. I want to say oh. 10 years later. I don't know. I feel like that's not correct either. 
I can't recall actually. I don't have that committed to my memory. Because the aunt, uh, when she called about the wedding, was 1976. Right, and the second game was like two years before that. But I think there was 30 years in between the current time because they were in the 90s. They it wasn't 2000s. They were in the 90s, I think. So I want to say it's like a decade. S somewhere between there. We don't look too much older. So I can't yeah. imagine it being too much longer than that. Imagine but anyway, uh, go on. Uh, what info are you looking for? I um, think we might be here at 354 West in 80th. The campaign yeah. headquarters, maybe. I'm wondering if... I'm just seeing names like Jeremy or uh no cuz it's this is basically saying uh it's unfinished this room because they keep leaving I guess because there's a ghost here that's why they keep leaving so I don't really see a name um uh, can we check around the furniture yeah yeah totally uh, I never pulled down this sheet. And then there's... There's nothing on there but dust. Okay. There's nothing on there but dust. All I could find was a newspaper clipping. Obituary. Looks like an oh. obituary. <laughs> Alan Reichen, of Reichen Publishing and Supply, was found dead yesterday afternoon. Witnesses saw Reichen fall from a great height, landing on the sidewalk outside of his office building. At 354 West 80th Street. Officers at the scene ruled the death a suicide. So we have a name. Oh. I guess let's combine the notes. Yeah. I can't move the desk. Here? There's nothing else in There's nothing else in the desk. I don't know if I can combine the notes. Oh, no. Doesn't oh, let me. Shoot. I don't have the power! <laughs> <laughs> Can oh, he well, combine them? Still... No, he can't look at the notes. Yeah, I guess we're just gonna talk to the ghost. Like, hey, I know who your name is now. Uh, I'm gonna take oh, wait, another wait. crack at him. Okay. I I'll think we need here. to tell Joey, like, hey, consult the notes. I think this is our dead man. Well, I, I... can I do that from here? No, I can't I switch from here. I think it's in there, and he'll just Hello say again. it. What do you I... want? I, 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 oh, I guess yeah, you're right. Hey, are you Alan Riken? It's been a while, you might not remember. No, I don't remember at all. Although, I've had a lot on my mind. Yeah, that's why I'm here. I thought you could use someone to talk to. Did my wife put you up to this? Wife? No, no, just here for an old friend. Okay. I'm not sure who you are, but you seem to know me. What do you want to talk about? Oh. You listen, Alan. Concentrate and take a look around. Doesn't anything seem strange, out of place, or off kilter? No. no. You don't remember falling? Falling? No. Of course not. I came out here and stayed. I haven't jumped yet. Right. Right. Never mind. Maybe the top now. Oh, nice view, huh? Is it? Yeah, I guess it is. Makes you feel like you're king of the world. I used to feel that way. Now, I'm not sure. King of the underworld? Oh! No. Surely I things can't be all that bad. <laughs> no. Oh, surely they can. Do you know what it's like to lose everything? To have everything you loved and struggled for just vanish? I know something about that, yeah. Then you know what I'm going through. So what happened, Alan? What brought you to this? A fire destroyed my entire stock. The resulting lawsuits bankrupted me. That's no reason to kill yourself. You don't understand. I spent my life building this business. When it happened, I lost everything. Everyone deserted me. People I thought were friends. No one's your Sandra. friends. Sandra, they just want your money. Wife. Poor guy. Popular because he's wealthy. Where is your wife? She it left. happened. 
She won't even talk to me. I just get phone calls from her lawyer. I thought she'd stick by me. That's what you're supposed to do, right? Pretend his wife's inside. He says her to be abandoned. Damn. Never mind. I don't know. We gonna lie to him? I don't think he likes his wife anyway. Should I just say never mind here, or...? You can say pretend if you want. Hey, your wife's inside. Really? Yeah, she wants to talk to you. I don't believe you. Come on, now's your chance to win her back. Well, alright. Okay, really? well, we got him in. There she is. That's my wife? That's Sandra? Wife? Sure, don't you recognize her? It's hard to see clearly for some reason. Is that red hair? She dyed it. Go on, talk to her. <laughs> Sandra, is that really you? Uh, sure. Sure, it's me. I'm Sandra. Why are you here, Sandra? <laughs> well, uh... <laughs> made a mistake. You still love him. You were right to oh, leave him. <laughs> you could just make this guy jump in the afterlife. <laughs> that seems I, I so still, mean. I still think it's the top two decisions. Probably. I hope this game doesn't fall into that trap where, like, the last decision seems so bad all the time and the top two are actually, I guess, correct or good. Yeah. I know what you mean. What are you feeling? You love him or you, did he make a mistake? Uh, I think the top one. I, uh, made a mistake, Alan. Wait, why is this you made a mistake? Have left I you. made a mistake. A mistake? Yeah. Why should I trust it's, it's now, worth Sandra, after you weirdly. left and sick lawyers yeah. on me? Taking what little I had left. You destroyed me, Sandra. If I jump, it'll be your fault. Hey, wait. She was trying to be nice. Way to go. I've never been a wife before. <laughs> oh, that one actually didn't work. Well, I'm gonna take I another crack at it. to try the other okay, option again. Hey, Alan. Oh, you again. Talk about woman. The world's full of pretty broads, Alan. You shouldn't get all weepy over just one. Come on. Look at me. I'm pushing 50, overweight, and not to mention broke. What woman would want me? You raise good points. Set them up one day. <laughs> oh, oh, damn. Really. Hey, you like redheads? Huh? It's a simple question. Do you like Can redheads? You sure, I guess. Great, I've got a girl who's perfect for you. You do? Sure, she's inside. Want to meet her? Is this a trick? Of course not. Of course it is. Okay. <laughs> this is a trick? There she is. Go on, introduce yourself. She's kind of young for me, isn't she? Don't let so that wait, stop what did I miss? What we're are you hooking... doing? Shh. Go um, on, Tiger. We, we said we're going to introduce him to a girl. So... <laughs> This You've time been asking said. about me. <laughs> oh, wait, was um, the wife option still open? Sure. Uh, really? Which option? Why? The yeah, well, yeah, yeah. It was. Uh. I think he's cute. He's a nice guy. Oh he's an ugly loser who will die alone. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> I I always think that's the correct response. <laughs> I don't know. You're I feel like cool. telling him like. We, he probably feels that way, so he'll probably take it as honest. I don't know, something weird like that. Here, call. I, I'm not gonna stop you on that. <laughs> I He's don't know what to so pick, just, right? Like... I mean, the poor dude is just trying to. Well, he's dead now, but he was just trying to get what he had back. I don't want to insult the guy for no reason. Just say he's a nice guy. <laughs> he's a nice guy. You seem like a nice guy. A nice, nice guy. guy. Sure. Let, Let me tell you something, something, lady. Women don't like nice guys. What's your angle? You're not interested in me. Wait. Damn, maybe we have time. to be harsh on him. Thanks for trying, <laughs> but this isn't going to work. Hey, wait. She was trying to be nice. Did you just try to set me up? 
Just call me Matchmaker Malone. I'm not seducing a ghost. You don't have to go all the way. N-O spells no. <laughs> that was entertaining. <laughs> I'm gonna... Okay. What should we do this time? Hey, Business? Alan. Oh, you again. I'll come up with a Damn. business partner. He's a failure as a businessman. I, I don't know. I feel like it's has to be a compliment than a non-compliment. I don't know. It's weird. Yeah, so let's try it. Hey, there's some venture capitalist inside. <laughs> wants to talk to you about starting another business. Why does this really? guy realize, like, hey, hey wants this to start a business with a with redhead? That's what she said. Why don't you <laughs> come inside and talk to him? confused oh, okay. and dead. I don't know. It makes sense. No, it doesn't. But there's your investor. She's heard about your old business and wants to join forces. Is that right? You bet. This isn't some kind of gag. Of course not. She's loaded. Go on, talk to the lady. So, what's the story? You really want to invest in a bankrupt publishing supply company? Uh, yes, yes I do. Why? Well, uh. <laughs> so we're gonna say he's a total failure. I, I feel like it because you can't say I heard good things about him. Right, he's such a Debbie Downer than himself. Actually, I just wanted to see if you were as pathetic as everybody says. What? What? Do business with you? Ha! Huh, that's a laugh. You're the joke of the publishing world. You're right. Hey, you gonna let her talk to you like that? Huh? Stand up for yourself, man. Stand up for myself? You gonna let people push you like around all your life? Is like, You're right. You know what, wife? <laughs> You're right. <laughs> you. Let her have it. I'm gonna jump off. Hey, lady. You don't know, you know? anything. <laughs> I built this business from scratch. I clawed and wheeled and dealed all the way to the top. Wheeling and dealing. You see dealing. this office? You see that view? Look me in the eye and tell me I don't deserve it. I've worked all my life to be the best. Okay, I had one big setback. Maybe I thought it was over, but it's not. Yes, I got it is. this far once, I'll do it again. You can take your money and shove it where the sun don't shine. I don't oh. need you. Get out of here. Oh, with the zingers. Bravo. That felt good. Quite a rush, huh? I feel like I can do anything. <laughs> like I feel like I can do anything. I feel like you got a second chance at life. Uh, <laughs> first thing I'm going to do is buy back this office. Yeah, about that. I made some mistakes before. I won't make them again. Uh, I might have fallen once, but, <laughs> but wait. I fell, didn't I? I remember now. I'm sorry. You're not really looking to invest, are you? Oh, I no, feel like we should have been I'm the wife and I went out that. onto the ledge. <laughs> I slipped. I don't know why I went out there, but I wasn't going to jump. I was confused. For some reason, it seemed like the right thing to do. This stupid, kind of a lie is a little stupid, less personal, don't you stupid think? Stupid way to die. I hey, guess. What but happened to that can do up to his wife was an interesting. It makes no difference now, does it? Maybe not to anyone else, but it does to you. Hmm. Huh. Maybe you're right. So what do I do now? Got soft touch achievement. Just take a hold of this. Okay, do it. Oh, so now they come inside of our body instead of our head. Oh, to I me mean, it's a model at this point. <laughs> no oh. departing words? Wow. Peace. <laughs> yeah, enjoy the afterlife, guy. Well, you kind of just told him off like, hey, you suck. <laughs> we did it for his benefit. He didn't know. Well, maybe he does now. He got himself back together. Well, maybe we'll have a second chance at wherever he's going now. Oh. Let me open the door. Hold on. Ain't hey, no problem. These are automatic scrolling credits. Or intro. This game's OST is so nice. I wish you could hear the music. 
I'm about to play the music when I get to work tomorrow or something. Dude, this would be perfect driving music right now. I've gotta look for the OST in this game, this franchise. It's so jazzy. There's a really sexy trumpet playing at the moment. Or, uh -huh. I think a trumpet? No. Maybe not a trumpet. Some another other day, trumpet. another satisfied spook. Trombone? I'd call this day done, wouldn't you? No, it wasn't a trumpet. Yeah, although... Uh, well, remember, I can't hear isn't you. Isn't there so. something right. we're supposed to do tonight? No, I don't think so. I feel like we're forgetting something. I'd ignore that feeling if I were you. Her apartment looks really great. <laughs> Compared to before. It's all that freelance work. <laughs> it's a nagging feeling. I'm supposed to be doing something. I usually write stuff like this down. Where would I... Uh... 12 steps Probably to getting your first newspaper. novel published. Parts 1 and 2. I never could get past step number 4. It's full of rejection letters from publishers. Best place for them. <laughs> I'm not rooting through my trash. I threw that stuff away for a reason. Just a bunch of old articles I wrote for the Village Eye newspaper. I don't know why I kept them. I hated working there. Okay. Those are fine well. where they are. So we don't work for the Village Eye anymore. I picked Eye up that anymore. clock at a tag sale. It's fine where it is. 7 p.m. The Park Gallery with Nishanti. Oh, crap. What time is it? 7.15, damn it! She's going to kill me! What's your problem? The gallery opening, don't you remember? She invited us to go. Us? Alright, me. But you're still coming. You really want to go to some stupid gallery? We're going. I'm not flicking out on her again, it's not nice. I just nice. realized, Joey doesn't Fine. have Whatever. that, like... do what you like. You know, it's not like I have a choice. The old school way of talking. Ah! Uh... Well, it's the same. What do you mean the old school way of talking? He he's he sounds like he's getting more modern. Yeah. I guess it is 2007 in this game apparently. There's nothing else on the calendar. He used to say doll face a lot and you know all the slang. That is true. This was the last article I wrote character. for the Village Eye. Oh. It was also my very first oh, case as a medium. Character. The last article. Yeah. Freshman suicide at NYU campus. Joanne Sherman was an 18 year old freshman studying political science at NYU. Sudden suicide, winning as many school authorities as NY. She always had friends around her. RA Adrian Tucker said her suicide came as a total surprise. I don't want to mess with it. <laughs> we kept his name in I there. I was never cut out for journalism. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> I don't want to mess with it. We promise. I don't want to mess with it. We found Allie's ghost haunting the Washington Square dog park. Another victim of the Deacon's madness. She's all right now, wherever she is. Susan was the only one of the three girls to survive. I looked her up once, after it was all over. She left New York and went back home to the Midwest. I assume she's all right. Joanne and her friends were the victims of a spirit called the Deacon. I never met her, living or dead. But her death enabled Ain't me to save her dead? two friends, which is something, I guess. Uh -uh. I was never cut out. Okay. It's not much, but it's mine. <laughs> it's fine. I don't want to mess. Alright. Nice trip down memory lane, even though that happened a little bit ago for us. I don't know why I even bother keeping that. Remote controls don't work when Joey is around. I don't know why. Oh, okay. that's interesting, though. Remote controls don't work. When yeah, around. we'll keep that in mind. This couch came with the apartment. Same with radio no and all that other is. shit. Uh, let's check the photo. I will. It's an I will. I'm just gonna go around. It's supposed to keep ghosts away when you play it. It doesn't work. <laughs> it's fine where it is. <laughs> Did she actually try it out on Joey? Yeah, it's fake, but you can hardly tell. Maybe. What happened to her balcony? <laughs> it's a Remember damn a window apartment? now. A different apartment. It could be a different apartment, but I don't know. It I mean, it's still a kitchen in the same spot. No, the kitchen is in a different spot, right? Yeah, the kitchen used to be back there where the bedroom is. So right, okay. We're apartment. in a different apartment. But we still hang out with Nishanti. I don't need to water it. Of course. It's fake. You have to have some kind of friend, right? <laughs> oh. We almost look like a real family with Joey standing there. Wow, the, the, the most dysfunctional family right in the now. country, but still. I look scared out of my mind. Maybe I could sense Joey, even then. 
If so, I had a good reason to be scared. <laughs> Auntie Lauren and me, on the Brooklyn Bridge. I don't remember anything about that day. I barely remember Auntie. All my life, I wanted to know more about her. I never imagined that she was a medium. Okay. With Joey around, it's impossible to get a decent reception. Somehow, he blocks TV and radio signals. I got cable installed last month. Seems to do the trick, even though I rarely watch TV. Got a lava lamp. I picked this up at a tag sale years ago. Some people think lava this, lamps are tacky, but I think they're cool. She still has somehow had to pay rent for it's New York, It's fine where right? it is. I guess. It's Griff, the P.I. Bear. I've had him since there. I was a kid. He's really starting to show his age. Hey, Griff, how are you today? Fluff all secure? <laughs> holding yourself together? Awesome. <laughs> I'll water it later. When was the last time I watered that plant? I think it was right, a week ago. Go. I'm surprised it's still alive. I'm, I'm milking the dialogue out of this game. Okay, I sold all of my books to a used bookstore <laughs> last month. Didn't take long for the shelf to fill up again. Okay, we can we can go after the bedroom door. My bedroom door, or as I like to call it, my illusion of privacy. It's too early to sleep. Must be awkward to uh, have sex when Joey's always around. I don't think boyfriend. she has friends. Right. I know. You come let in. Alone, we have the Shanti. Yeah, sure. <laughs> well, uh, let alone uh, friends. You know, let alone a boyfriend. <laughs> right. This looks like the same apartment. We're not in a different apartment at all. We just got rid of our no, balcony. It's a, no, no. It's a different one from Lauren. Because Lauren had a Oh, you're right. That's why I keep telling you. Ah. Uh, so stupid. I'm mixing the two up. Anyway, it's we only, don't know we who only lives have no here. idea who lives there. Dude, we only played two other games. I have no idea. <laughs> the prequel. Is... I've played many other games in between games, so I don't remember everything. Excuse me. It's a trash room here. There's Everything nothing going. in here but trash bags. Okay. It's the trash room. Better keep a close eye on him. Don't want him snooping on the neighbors again. Ah, oh, that's a great idea. There's. I have no idea who lives there. Damn it! I have no idea. Go, go find out. It who might be important later. I have no desire to see a bunch of trash bags. <laughs> now, I'm not floating through that door. Last time I did that, her dog nearly had a seizure. <laughs> yeah, I feel like his dialogue became more modern. Like it, it lost that flair. Maybe. Alright, Blackwell Residence. I guess we don't know where we're going yet. I need to look it up on the fucking computer or something. God damn it. A little lost, are we? I have no idea where the park gallery is. <laughs> oh, too bad. Looks like another night writing on the computer for you. Maybe using the computer isn't a bad idea. Thanks, game. Thanks for letting me know I'm an idiot. <laughs> we thought, hey. Personally, I thought we knew where we were going. So Wait, can't... you would think she would know where the gallery is. How long have we lived in this city for? Oh, dear uh, Lord. Like, she, she lived there in the apartment for five years. She barely knew where, <laughs> uh, what her neighbors were. I'll have to be more specific than gallery. that if I want to find the gallery. Mm. <laughs> 100,000 galleries? That's bullshit. No, actually, that makes sense. It's, what? it's like Google. Alright. What gallery are you going to? Our I gotta check my email. I don't know where my login is. Although, there we go. It's just Park Gallery. Do you... Well, I'm gonna privy our email first. So, well day books. Dear was Angela Blackwell. Thank you for submitting your rough draft to the devil and... Of the devil and the deacon to our editor. We're not looking for good stories. We're not, yeah, looking for new good stories this time. Wish you the best of luck in the future. Okay. Just wanted to touch base to see if everything was all right with you and yours. My door is still always open. If you ever feel new chat, all the best. Dr. Donald Quentin. Oh, Dr. Quentin, dude. Special offer for all your software and networking needs. Contact Tomo. 
Here's Tomo. Mm hmm. It's probably a software company. Tomo is an illusion. Tomo does not exist. You cannot find Tomo. You will fail before you even try. Wow. <laughs> what? Okay. Oh, uh, I guess that's junk mail. Uh, please be aware that a stay away policy has been put into effect against you by Kelly Hawthorne. Should you harass her further, we will be forced to get the police involved. Tom Small, NYU Housing Office. What? I guess we it's have a previous a case. Restraining order? Yeah. Probably a previous case. Oh, wait. Look at the last one. You forget to check all the emails. By yeah, I am. Hello, I don't know who you are, but my daughter Susan insisted I contact you. She is home and resting and appears to be doing fine. Please stay away from us. Susan lost her two best friends in nearly her life and her mental health is fragile. You not be. I guess that's her mom or something. Susan Lee, yeah. Susan. Wait, yo, she, she wanted me to contact you, but please stay away from us. Right, right. What a damn. Oh, what a bitch. <laughs> Kelly Hawthorne that... was the gothic girl, right? Oh, right! Yeah, it is. I'm just curious if she'll come up on here. I okay. think you spelled her name wrong. Did I? Mm-hmm. What's her name? Wait, Kelly... No, I spelled it right. You didn't spell Thorn. Hawthorne. Like that. Yeah. Oh, oh. Anyway, art gallery. No, park gallery. Park gallery. Park. Oh, yeah. No, no. Parks. Like parks. Rec yeah, yeah. That's it. Uh, Here we go. The park, park gallery. Park recreation. It's huh. on Eighteenth Street by Tenth Avenue. Uh, let's go and get this over with. Relax, Mr. Ghost Malone. Art galleries can be cool. Public opening, Claude Erdin, neighborhood street artist, will be making his debut. Curated by Josie Park. Alright, what is this Rosa tab? Welcome to rosablackwell.com. It's page. Ah, oh, is this our own website? Simple I guess she's trying to make browser. it for her website and stuff. Oh. Okay. Wow, her tabs are so small. You mean large? Oh, right. She doesn't have tab. She's efficient. You ready to go? <laughs> All right, I'm coming. <laughs> like you. I'm just a hoarder, okay? Bookmarks, man. <laughs> Use the bookmarks. <laughs> All right, park gallery. This looks wow, like some I feel cultured already. Stuff. Shh. Hi, are you here for the opening? Yes. Wait, why Great. did he, she even say but shush? I'm sorry. I think you don't hear her. Night. Uh, or the him. public opening's in two days. Tonight's a private showing. Oh no, I'm with someone. Nishanti Sharma? Is she here? Really? Let me check. Nish? Nish? Yes? Someone here There's says she knows. There's not that many people in the room. That must be Rosa. <laughs> it's alright, Josie. She's with me. Okay, thanks. Sorry about that. You know how it is. Sure. Anyway, I'm Josie Park, and this is the Park Gallery. Man, she's clever. I bet she came up with that all by herself. <laughs> Go on in. Have fun. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. He's such a little wiener. I can't talk to Joey here. Okay. I want to hear Joey's opinions on stuff. Ooh, you feel that? Feel <laughs> what? The draft. I'll have to get the super to look into that. I know that type. All cool and confident, but it's all plastic. With a little bit of pressure, that plastic will crack. <laughs> They're just making small talk. Nothing worth listening to. She looks as bored as I am. They're just making small talk. Nothing worth listening to. Oh, uh, she's not, he's not gonna make a comment about her? Right? This painting looks... familiar. I can't put my finger on why. Boy, if I could touch it, that would sure be great. You're not supposed to touch paintings, man. You can't touch paintings, remember? Right, but looks like you're not supposed to, to if you can. <laughs> it's a ghost, so it's not like... 
I don't float uh, through random effective. doors unless I have to. Boy, if I could touch this it, was more that would sure be great. Then he'll go through it. I, I would float through random Can't say it does anything for me. <laughs> <laughs> Too curious about stuff. I don't know much about art, but I know this <laughs> is crap. This is crap. Oh, the, from the Pixar art, something it's looks okay. Here. <laughs> as much as I'd like to. He's not I... a fan. All right, going with her. He's not a culture guy. These paintings look like part of a set. It looks pretty abstract. I don't think Josie would like that. <laughs> I want to look at like the guest list or whatever. Really around the corner. Lines. This would look great in my bedroom. Ooh, she likes this one. I don't think Josie would like that. From a certain angle, it looks like a street corner. That's Josie Park, the gallery's curator. She seems nice enough. He must be an artist. <laughs> She's in deep artist. conversation with Nishanti. These look like impressionist skyscrapers. Not bad, actually. These look like impression. Looks like it leads to a fire escape. This painting is called The Dark Lady. Dark Lady? I don't think Joe's. Oh, God. <laughs> you think it's the. Hi, sorry uh, I'm late. Countess? Don't worry about it. How'd you find the place? Oh, the no. oh of course. That, I should really portrait. try using oh, it no. one of these days. The Countess is still at large, I guess, but that was like years oh, and no. years ago with the other character. Oh, no, she's dead. Oh, no, she's dead. We knocked her down. Maybe I wonder goes. how that went. I guess it would be a self-defense case, but you'd have no one to vouch for you, right? Oh, well, it's a pretty old lady behind the alley. But police would be able to determine she fell from an apartment and probably from how high. Anyway. I know I've been kind of flaky lately. Oh, don't worry about that. No need to stress on my account. Besides, you look exhausted. Are you all right? I'm fine. All right, if you say so. She sounds a little different. A lot different, actually. She might have got a different voice actor. So, who's your friend? Oh, voice actress. I'm sorry, that was remember, rude of me. Like I said, Joey this is Monique Stallman. Uh, Monique, this is my neighbor the Rosa. The one I was telling you about. Words you don't use. You were talking about me? She was just telling me that she had a famous writer for a neighbor. Famous? I'm hardly famous. I haven't had anything published yet. She writes ghost stories, Monique. Nish, please. <laughs> Go on, tell her. It's hardly the time or place. Oh. Hmm, what's wrong? What's wrong? Yeah. Oh, Monique here has a fascinating ghost story to tell. I wouldn't call it fascinating, per se. Please, it sends shivers down my spine. Wait until you hear it. It's about yeah, I Frank think it's Lyons. The way Frank Lyons. It. The like actor? The Nish, dialogue? please. Sorry, Monique, just getting carried away. You want to talk about? For these characters talking as well. Yeah. They got with the times, I guess. Oh, come on. I would like to hear the story, actually. <laughs> See? I told you. think you. they're eliminating like, their, like, character right, personalities? Here. Here's my card. If you want I, to talk, drop by wise. my office tomorrow. We they can might be it doing private. that. Thanks. I'll drop by. It doesn't bother me too much, but they, they might be uh, losing some of the original personality that was established. So, how are you doing? Oh, you know, same old thing. Practicing my flute, walking the dog, trying to get out more. Dude, she didn't Although age this at isn't all. making it easy. <laughs> it might have been only a year, man. Thanks for inviting Maybe. me. I'm glad you could make it. For a while, I was Plus worried that I'd be all by her hair myself. Back, you know. But Monique was interesting company. I think I'll browse around. Sure, Rosa. Enjoy yourself. Okay. Hi, Nishanti. Hello, Rosa. I talked to I think the I'll other woman. Around. Sure, Rosa. Enjoy yourself. Uh, I guess we didn't see everything yet. Hi there. Josie Park, was it? Yeah, that's me. And you are? Rosangela Blackwell. Rosangela? What a neat name. Anyway, nice to meet you. Uh, okay. So, are you Josie Park, is in the Park Gallery? Yeah. This place is mine. We just opened. Well, technically we open in two days, but... It's my gallery. If I say we're open, then poof, <laughs> we're open. 
Ooh, watch out. She's so sharp, she might cut herself. <laughs> you have some interesting pieces here. Yeah, interesting's the word. The edges you on like her are real. Sure. Did you hear that, Claude? Yeah. She's just a young He's lady. He's that nobody <laughs> will understand his work. Oh she said she liked them, not that she understood them. Oh, you. Pay no attention. <laughs> I wish you could have heard how he said, yeah. <laughs> Sarcastic, yeah. <laughs> His voice is so deep. It was great. Uh. So you're a friend of Nishanti's? Oh, Nish? And it was sarcastic. She, marvelous? she comes to all the art events. That's how I know her. I guess say hello so, to the artist. So you're the artist? Yeah. This is Claude Erden, my discovery. Some discovery. I've been painting on your street corner for eight years. <laughs> yes, and I've seen you improve. When I got the funding to open this gallery, I knew Claude would be my breakout artist. We're having the public opening in two days. You should come. Don't count on it, lady. Well, I'm going to look around some more. Sure, have fun. Okay. Is there anything I didn't click? Oh, we have Monique's card. I know that area. That's Astor Place. New location, Keepstar Films. Does Monique have a real ghost story or are we just chasing shadows? Either way, can't hurt to look. Okay. I guess we could talk to her later about it. She said now the executive not the time place. producer, right. What else we got? Nothing. So we were gonna look around and click on the stairs. Rosa, you're not leaving now, are you? Um no, I just was there. I was we wondering if there's a lower floor. Wine. Why don't you join us? Come on, come on, let's get out of here. Well, please stay. We hardly see enough of each other as it is. Piss off him or. I say stay. Alright. Okay. <laughs> Wonderful. Fantastic. <laughs> come on, Josie. What, there's five of people? us here. That Blush means it's a party. Life. Pour more of that wine and let's get it started. <sighs> <laughs> He's probably mad he can't drink anything. Oh, at least, hey, it's. At least he's not trapped in an oh, asylum, you know? What yeah. happened? How did I get here? Uh oh. Drunk. Man, was, were we done in there? Yeah. Well, we could have left or stayed, you know? It's like whispers, but I'm not sure what they're whispering for. What? What's the whisper sounds like? Inte unintelligible. Oh. Is this how your generation treats the duty? What? Who are you? Someone who has been here far too long. I don't understand. It does not matter. We will meet again soon. Continue your sleep. You will forget me when you wake up. Your time will come soon. I just pray that you are ready. Oh boy. I hope you didn't pass out in the middle of the art gallery. Well, look who's up. Ugh. Enjoyed the free booze a little too much, huh? Blech. Clear the cobwebs, kid. We've got work to do. Yeah, I know. <laughs> okay, well, I guess we only care about this, right? It's our yeah. only lead. Uh, did you want to check your email real quick? Sure, yeah. We can look at our emails. Uh, so this is the same. I don't know if I ever clicked on this one. Uh, did you want to look up her, uh, the business I, card? I do, but I already, like, was there... Lafayette Street. We should be able to just go there, right? Uh, we, we might not know where it is, so club... No, because when I looked at that, it updated with the location. Let, oh, let's okay. talk, talk to Jerry real quick. This would better chat. be important, sweetheart. It's not important, Joey. Any next move. Did I do anything stupid last night? <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> You're not gonna tell me, are you? And ruin the suspense? No way. Wait, that's good. 
Did I do any- Wouldn't you? You're not right. gonna- So what should we do now? We might as well talk to that lady we met last night. You do remember her, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Monique something. She had a ghost story to tell. Who knows? It might lead somewhere. You think that Monique woman is on the level? Who knows? Can't hurt to check her out. <laughs> See? It was a good thing we went to the gallery. Hmm? You didn't want to go, but we ended up getting a case. Ended up getting hammered is more like it. Don't look so <laughs> smug, kid. Things like this will happen all the time. Getting hammered. That's all for now. Sure. All right. So I spent the last time she. I'm ready if you, know. you are. All right, I'm coming. At least we didn't get sick. It's Nishanti there. Nishanti isn't home. Okay. She's probably at the park, playing her flutes with her dog. All right, keep star films. Come in. There's a cat in the window. I saw that. Hi, Monique. Oh, hello. Oh, You're cool. Nishanti's friend, aren't you? The writer? Yeah, that's me. I almost didn't recognize you standing upright. Huh, <laughs> right. I don't usually drink that much. Well, we all make mistakes. Jeez, what Damn. the hell did she do? Ow. <laughs> nice view from up here. I want to talk about Please don't the cat. close the window. There's a reason why it's open. Oh. There's a reason why it's open? Nice view cat. from up here. All right, maybe. I can't comment on the kitty. This poster is for a film called Water Under the Bridge. Even though the cat's Frank right Lyons. there. I'm not stealing Monique. I'm not stealing this poster is for a film called Water Star. Okay. Anything else to talk about? Here, I'll just get some Joey opinions. Mm, also, I, I saw this. I say the view is quite nice from up here. <laughs> mm, I oh, he's talking about her. Not the <laughs> <from laughs> actual view. Yeah, the view is well. okay. <laughs> Although, I prefer the view from this angle. <laughs> yeah, the all think he's perving on the woman. for the number crunchers. I don't think we need to bother with it. <laughs> Water no under one, the No one else can really see what he's what doing. Boring title. All right. Can we see the cotton floating folk? out there unless I've got a reason? Can we do Besides, what? Besides, the view is much better in here. Besides, the view was much better in here. <laughs> don't know what I could do with it. <laughs> He thinks we found his uh, his wife here. Okay, get straight to the point. I want to know what the cat's about, though. I saw yeah. a cat on the window ledge outside. Oh, her? The company adopted her. She belonged to Frank. Oh, Thanks okay. for that. So, info. what do you do here at Cube Star? I'm the executive producer. In a nutshell, I make sure everything gets done on time and under budget. She whips everyone into shape, huh? I <laughs> like her. Wow. He didn't like her at first. Or he doesn't like the other, the young girl. So you have a ghost yeah. story, is that right? Oh, yes. It's really nothing. Kind of embarrassing, really. Nishanti said it had to do with Frank Lyons. Yes, it was all over the news. You know what happened. Ah, uh, I don't know the story. Do we know what happened to Frank Lyons? No, no. I know he died, but that's all I know. Yes, he's dead. I saw him die. He died while filming his last scene. It was tragic and all, but in the end, we had to finish the movie. We found a lookalike to complete the scene and then released it. That should have been the end of it, but the film was a smash hit. Really? It was that good? No, it wasn't. People only turned up because a man's death was attached to it. For years, we tried to create a moneymaker, and this is how we did it. Be careful what you wish for, Rosangela. That's all I'll say. So what happened next? Next? I hear him. You hear him? Over in Central Park, near the Gothic Bridge. It's where he died. I pass the area every morning when I go jogging. I can swear I hear him calling me. Really? <laughs> it's like he's... Well, it's probably just my own guilty conscience. We profited from his death. There's no denying that. But what could we do? Give the money to charity? We have investors to pay back. Anyway, that's my ghost story. Take it or leave it. I say we take it. We haven't been to the park in a while. Taking it. Isn't the nicest day for Sean in a park, but it's not exactly a social call. Oh no, it looks pretty nice out to me. Oh, let's go Thanks outside. for the chat, Monique. Sure. Okay. 
me out. Thanks, Monique. <laughs> Gothic bridge. Well, look at this guy. I think I that's think Frank Lyons. He looks different in person. Of course, he isn't exactly a person anymore. <laughs> I don't know why I'm walking up to um, him with her. Hi there. I knew you'd come. Mm -hmm. Actually, yeah, this surprise. You talking to me? You did? Yes, I did. Wait. No, that's not right. Oh, what's not right? Never mind. We can do it again. <clears throat> I knew you'd come. He's acting. Um. Are you Frank Lyons? Um. Oh, haha. Ha, very funny. Let's get back on track, huh? <clears throat> I knew you. He's still come. in the scene. Uh, <laughs> ask how he knew. We need to know what the next line is going to be. But I guess uh. I have to play along, even though we already know what's going on. How did you know I'd come? I know you, Yvonne. Perhaps too well. Yvonne? Who's Yvonne? Um, you are? <sighs> okay, no problem. We'll just start over. <clears throat> I knew you'd come. <laughs> okay. How did you know I'd come? I know you. Look, I just want to talk to you. Are you sure that's right? Yes, just for a few minutes. No, I don't think that's right. Let's try again, shall we? <laughs> what are you talking about? <clears throat> come on, get with the come. page, uh, MC. Uh... Could I ask you a couple of questions? Huh? Oh, come on. That's not even close. Let's try I it again. There's a pattern to it. <clears throat> I knew you'd come. I don't know uh, if we have the dialogue options, though. Listen, I have to tell you something. Yeah. No, no, that comes later. Try oh, and concentrate, will you? Let's get through this and then you know we can go do? home. <clears throat> I knew you'd nah, come. Fill me in. Okay, first you tell him how, how he knew. How did you know I'd come? I know you, Vaughn. Perhaps too well. Tell him he's dead? Yeah. Listen, I have to tell you something. Come on. The boat's going to leave any minute. Okay. <laughs> now, you have a 33% chance. What do you wanna... What do you wanna try? <laughs> uh... Express your confusion. I have no idea what you're uh, talking about. Look, I didn't write this, okay? Let's just work with what we're given, and then we'll laugh about it later. <clears throat> okay, we gotta try that come. again. <laughs> Alright, I'll start That's skipping through it. I... Listen. Come on. So, two Bye. more. Oh, try and no, get through. No, no, boat. Boat? What boat? What boat? Come on. Let's just do this. <clears throat> <I knew clears throat> that wasn't right. Yeah. Alright. All right. Oh, How'd you God. know? Please. You're come dead. On. No, listen to me. We have to talk. I... What? Gah, now I'm messed up. Let's start over, okay? <clears throat> I knew you'd come. <laughs> I don't know if we can... Oh, right. I, I, I'll, I'll do it, but I might get a never mind if there's no new option. How... I... Listen. Come... Try get down. No, listen to me. We have to talk. I... Oh, wait. What? Oh, I have to see. Never mind. I'm sorry. Try that again. Come. I've got to go. Need to study some more? I don't blame you. Okay. We cannot. Uh, well, I wanted to see if there's anything else. I don't see anything else. Just him. So we can have. No. I knew you'd come. Damn it! Where is that woman? Hello? Oh, hey. You with the company? Company? Oh, I guess you're not. They told me to meet him out here. I guess they're late. Are you Frank Lyons? You recognize me? Sure. That's... Thank you. That means a lot. Hey, I live to please. Sort of. Heart attack. Wait, did she tell us she had a heart attack? Oh, no, I don't remember that. Apparently, Monique told us he had a heart attack. So, Frank, what are you doing here? 
Oh, you know, just waiting to finish up. Just one scene to go and I'm done. Finally. Done is the word, yeah. Hmm? Never mind. <laughs> so, we're on a movie set? Yep. The film is called Water Under the Bridge. Really? Yeah. Actually, I'm probably not supposed to tell you that, but we're hardly Paramount Pictures or anything. Just don't tell anyone, okay? Oh, lips are sealed. Are you sure this is a movie set? Yeah. Where are all the lights, equipment, cameras? You know, I'm not sure. They should be on their way. I don't know what's keeping them. Could you tell me the last thing you remember? What do you mean? I've just been hanging out here. And before that? I was... hmm... Funny thing. Yes? The Minetta. The Minetta? Yeah, I was there. I'm always there. He looked so sadistic. The Minetta? Just what is the Minetta? Minetta? Yeah, what is it? The Minetta. I'm famous there, you know. You can always find a willing ear there, and some donations for the fund. The fund? What fund? Yes, they are very kind. Why are you talking like that? Talking like what? Like you... oh, never mind. <laughs> Just what is... Ah, uh, that's yeah, the same. The... Why are you talking like you... That's pretty weird. So, tell me attack. about yourself, Frank. Oh, I'm just an actor. I just walk and talk the way they want me to. <laughs> oh, come on. There's gotta be more to you than that. I don't really need anything else. I'm not in the magazines, but I think I'm okay with that. I just want to finish what I start. Okay, he just wants to finish what he started. Listen, Frank, you seem like a swell guy, but I have to be honest. You're dead. What? I mean it. You've been haunting this area for months now. Ha. Very funny. My career might have one foot in the grave, but it's not dead yet. My ship will come in. You'll see. <laughs> well, sure. Uh, is that right? Until we get the final line, I know this. Yeah. Yeah, Joey. Well, we can check out the Mineta, I suppose. But talking to this guy is like talking to one of them schizos. You mean multiple personality disorder? Yeah. You think he's one of those? Could be. It would explain a lot. Two spooks for the price of one. Fantastic. He has multiple personality disorder? Minetta. I wonder what it could be. Do you have a phone book? Phone book? Who uses a phone book anymore? <laughs> Sorry I asked. <laughs> so who is Frank Lyons anyway? I'm afraid I'm not up to date on pop culture. He's a movie actor. Big? Not really. I don't think he would have been as famous if it weren't for the news reports. Fame after death, huh? Lucky guy. You know, I think that Monique lady is pretty suspicious. Oh, really? Oh, yes. We should get back to her office and examine her very closely. <laughs> examine her, huh? <laughs> or better yet, you stay out in the hall. I'll go in and uh, poke around. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> you still got the hot That or... gallery won't forget you in a hurry. Don't remind me. What got into you, anyway? I just felt uncomfortable. I thought it would relax me. They all seemed so sophisticated. Don't envy that crowd, kid. It's all phony anyway. All phony. All right. Uh, well, yeah. I knew you'd come. As Guess much as I'd to like leave. to, I knew you'd uh, come. One person. Is that right? No. Wait. I know. So we need to find out where the Manetta is. To the phone book. To the computer. Who uses a phone book anymore, Denny? That's actually a really relevant statement for our generation now. New location, Mineta Tavern. The Mineta is a tavern in the East Village. It's not too far from my place. West Village Pubs, Mineta Tavern serving the West Village for over six years. 58 McDougal Street. Any new B mail? Nope. Can we go back? Oh, uh, I didn't mean to lock out. I guess I should lock out. Can we go back to what? The, the movie lady. Um, the executive producer? I was going that script. Uh, yeah, we can do that. Come on, let's get. Or do you it's think about... we should go Minette? 
I'm not sure. I think going to the Minette would open more options right now, but we could go check on the movie producer if you want. Just see if I have the heart attack then. Bop, bop, Come in. Bop. And I guess Joey wants to check her out, so. <laughs> You're oh, doing this for Joey, aren't you? Again? I'm rooting for Joey. <laughs> Tell me about Frank. Frank? He was a solid actor. Not A-list material, but dependable. He could read his lines and hit his marks and look good on camera. He didn't demand much and he was easy to work with. We set him up with an apartment nearby. That was all he needed. That reminds me we still haven't moved his stuff out. I'll have to get on that. Huh. Oh. It's apartment. Uh, anything, anything else? Anything else you can tell me about Frank? Like I, I said, he was thing. the dependable type. He was always willing to work with us, and he worked pretty cheap. I think he was waiting for his next break. Ask. He got one all right. Have you ever heard of a place called the Mineta? Sorry, no. No? Surely you would know where your actor hangs out all the time. You really rented him an apartment. That's very generous. Not really. The company owns it, and it's rent controlled. We couldn't pay him much, so it was the least we could do. We couldn't pay him much. Damn, that sucks. Oh, up and coming chat, movie sure. studio, you know? Yeah, I suppose. So where do you want to go first? His apartment or the bar? I don't think his apartment is available because we don't know where it is. What did I get unlocked? Oh, wait, wait. We need it. Um, oh, have... it was in his notes. The... You want to look it up? Yeah, sure. I'm gonna laugh at that last door. <laughs> he just lives here the whole time. Frank's apartment. Uh, can I discuss Frank's apartment Joey, with you? Joey, I'd like to talk to you. Uh huh. I should tell Monique the truth about why I want to find Frank's apartment. She'd probably be more willing to help. You think that's a good idea? Sure, it's worth a shot. What's the worst that could happen? Oh, right, she could call the cops and they'd lock you away. So, uh, better not do that. <laughs> uh, That's all? Sure. I don't suppose we could search... What's... Crap, what was his name? Frank what? I'm so bad at this. Frank Leon? Whoops, I tapped out. Frank Leon? Lions? Frank Lions? Yeah. Frank Lines. Let's look him up and then we'll see if anything comes up. The obituary. Suffered a fatal heart attack while on location of Gut Bridge. Such pocket savings. Best known for his many calls and several independently produced. Spring. Lines leave behind their families. The last film while on the bridge. Keep star films due to be released this spring. Uh. I don't know how we would get his address unless we go back to what's her name and question again. Maybe I should Let's have questioned go. her it's again. About to go to the bar. Okay, we can go to the bar. But the bar, he seems to be talking about a lot. Or we could talk to Frank the Ghost and ask him about his apartment. Oh, we might be able to do that. Black and white pictures of old celebrities. I don't recognize any of them. That's a lot of old celebrities. It's a portrait of an old man. Maybe he'll know. Has beens from days gone by. Has been from days gone by. It's a portrait of an by. old guy. Just has been. She'd better not fall off the oh, wagon again. Sorry. He looks capable enough. I wonder how strong his martinis are. Years ago, well, I can guy, tell you what was a good year and what wasn't. Those days are long gone. Years ago, well, I can... Those <laughs> days... Okay. Man, what I don't know you? much about brands, but it seems like decent stuff. He looks pleasant enough, even though it's practically empty in here. There's nothing but empty tables back there. Okay. Hi. Afternoon. What can I get for you? Oh, no. I'm not here to drink. Not yet, anyway. <laughs> I was hoping you could answer some questions for me. Really? Yeah, is that a problem? No, it's just that this never happened to me before. You always see bartenders being questioned in the movies, but it never actually happens. You a detective? Something like that. Cool, how can I help? <laughs> cool. 
I was wondering if you've seen Frank Lyons. Frank Lyons, the actor? Didn't he die a few months ago? Yeah, he did. I think he might have come here before he died. Hmm, well, we get all sorts in here, but I don't think we've ever seen him. <laughs> what can you tell me about this place? The Mineta? Been here forever. 60 or 70 years at least. I've only been here a few weeks myself, so I don't know much of the history. What can you tell me about the Mineta? Oh, I've only what are the chances of you knowing where Frank Lyons lived? You a groupie or something? Uh, no, not exactly. Hell, either way, I can't help you. <laughs> either way, I can't help you. Does a Monique Stallman ever come in here? Never heard of her, sorry. Have you ever been to the park gallery? No, sorry. I don't know if we have enough Are you sure here. you've never seen Frank Lyons come in here? Yeah, oh, I'm quite sure. Wait, if you leave I think the he's telling the you'll... truth. Oh, wait, what? Leave the notebook. Leave the notebook? No, leave it, and I was gonna say talk to him again. Hi there. Got time for some more questions? Sure, ask Unless away. Unless he only does the notebook. Oh, yeah, that just popped up. There was no questions for him. Never mind. Let's so hit we're up. missing a piece of info. There's nothing but empty tables back there. There's nothing but empty tables back there. <laughs> <laughs> they have the same dialogue. That's, that's what I find weird, because it's like Joey should have his own version of that same dialogue, you know? Yeah, that is strange. Unless he's just picking up on her habits. You know, when you hang out with people, you tend to speak the way they do. What do you mean? So, oh, don't send her. What don't do send you her. mean? Right, right. He needs to get the info, because she's just going to do the Hello, acting. Hello, Frank. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Where's your partner? Hey, Frank, at? could you tell me where you live? Uh, sorry, but I hardly know you. Aw, oh, come on, you can trust me. <laughs> I really don't think so. Sorry. <laughs> at least he's sensible enough. Funny thing, I went to oh, wait, the Mineta. Have we talked they about never Monique. heard of me. Oh, wait, Why um, would they? That woman? You said you went there all the time. I've never yeah, we heard can of do that place. too. You told me you were famous there. Famous? Yeah, famous at the Mineta. The Mineta? I go there all the time. It's like my second home. But you just said... Say, could you spare some money for the Joe Gould Fund? Joe Gould Fund? What's that? What's what? The Joe Gould Fund. I have no idea. But you just... Oh, never mind. Wow, that's some serious split personality right there. Joe Gould? Joe Gould. Could you tell me what the Joe Gould Fund is? Why, you want to donate a couple of dollars? I would, if you could tell me what it was for. For the upkeep and maintenance of Joe Gould's everywhere, of course. Any Joe Gould in particular? Who's Joe Gould? You know what? Never mind. I'm getting a <laughs> headache talking to you. <laughs> He's just being... Can you imagine saying that to someone? Yeah. I'm getting a headache talking to you. What can you tell me about Monique? Miss Stallman? She's a good lady. I just wonder where she is. You expecting her? Yeah. We can't, we can't start, start without the executive producer, can we? I could swear I saw her run by a couple of times, but why wouldn't she stop? Because you're dead! I don't think Monique is coming, Frank. Hmm. She usually comes to every shoot. I guess we can do it without her, but it'll just feel weird. Oh well. Uh, I guess let's see hey, the Frank, girl and could you talk to... Uh, I... Well, now that we have this, we need to look it up, I guess. Let's try this uh, again. I we went to the Mineta. Go search on Mineta? Google. I never heard of it. What is on... it? A tavern over on McDougal? Oh, yes. I'm well known there. Okay, fine. But listen carefully to me now. They've never heard of you. Why would they? I've never been there. For crying out loud! <laughs> hey, what did I say? <laughs> Nothing, just... Say, can you talk to seagulls? What? No, I cannot talk to seagulls. I can. It's a beautiful language. Congratulations. For once, I'm totally speechless. <laughs> that was pretty random. So... Well, see you around. Sure. Bye. What, what did you want to try? We could talk hey, to her real quick. What is it, Joey? No, no, I meant... Um... The Joe Gould Fund. What do you think that's for? Somebody named Joe Gould, I guess. Well, that helps. I was gonna say, uh, have her talk with him about the apartment. 
Well, I yeah. Want to what about me? me? What uh, about I again? Because she's an actress. I knew you'd come. Yeah. Could I ask you a couple of questions? Huh? Oh, come on. That's oh, not yeah. even close. We can't ask him Let's try it again. Uh, get the <clears throat> I knew you. Um, uh, tell him, uh, never mind. Never mind. Yeah, I think you- I knew you'd come. No. I knew you'd come. Okay. What do you mean? Let's go, no. let's go what talk do you to mean? Uh, your money, or we can go, uh, a Google search to find... I'm gonna search Joe Gould real quick, and then we can go talk to Monique again. I, I might have missed some dialogue on her part. No, I think you got everything. It's just you just got more from him. Joe Gould. Fun. Known as Professor Siegel, this West Village Bohemian was a familiar figure during the 1960s. A regular at the Mineta Tavern, Joe Gould was often homeless and often broke. Huh, it's like he's possessed by another ghost. Right, was that he claimed he was writing a book entitled The Oral History of the World and spent most of his time soliciting the money to show Gould fun in order to keep working on it. In reality, this book never existed, but his energy and enthusiasm was set to inspire other writers such as Joseph Mitchell. Oh, oh, oh. You know who Joseph Mitchell is, right? <laughs> What's the reporter guy that was in the previous oh, he died. game? Yeah, he's definitely dead. 08 to 96. On the staff of the New Yorker magazine for nearly 60 years, from 1938 till his death in 96, he's known for his plain spoken essays of eccentrics and unstable people on the fringes of society. He's also known for a legendary case of writer's block. After completing his last biography in 64, he continued to go to his New York office every day until his death, but never completed another article for the magazine. Well, that's sad. Didn't we help him? Wow, I'm surprised the, the magazine kept him around this long. Why? <laughs> He's never writing anymore. Why would they keep him? But I can't believe he didn't write anything else. I thought we helped the guy. Maybe we never told Maybe him. Maybe he. Yeah, we, they probably never told him that hey. it's okay to write again. Hey, the old lady's dead. <laughs> we, we, we dealt with it. You can write. Did, I didn't get any more information presented, though. No, we did. We did oh. go. Wait. It's like suddenly rain and thunder sound effects. Huh. Weird. No, but what Just information did I unlock? The Joe Gould farm. You, you know where it is now. I didn't see a thing pop up no, about no. it. But we can go. Now we can go to. Uh, to the tavern and double check. Because apparently he made Oh, you ready yeah, to go? Yeah, we can ask yeah. the tavern about so, it. Uh... We could have just went directly there, honestly. It is raining. We didn't know. <laughs> we didn't know if that's a thing. I guess. Because remember, Hi we didn't there. know who was the Joe Gould fund. Sure, ask away. Have you ever heard of Joe Gould, or anything called the Joe Gould Fund? <laughs> yeah, you could say that. Sometimes I think they should just rename this place the Joe Gould Bar and be done with it. Really? People hear about him and they come in here to ask about him. That's his portrait up there behind you. He died a long time ago. Who was he? He was some homeless guy who wandered the West Village in the 50s and 60s. He told some crazy stories and people found him entertaining, so they gave him money for his food and his beer. He referred to the money as the Joe Gould Fund. He also tried to write a book or something. He never finished it? Nope. Hey, sounds like your soulmate. <laughs> oh. Anything uh, else you can tell me about Joe Gould? I don't know much else, sorry. If you want to know more, check in another time. Lots of artist types come in here. They all know about Joe Gould. Uh, Let's look at the portrait. Sure. We looked at it already, didn't we? I guess not. It's a portrait of Joe Gould. What's with that tie? It's a lot of alcohol. <laughs> oh no, that's a very, very hip looking tie. He smokes. He looks like He's got Harry. a scar on his. <laughs> he looks like Harry. What, old Harry? 
if he was old. Oh, hold on, I'll be right back. Alright, no problem. I guess I'll run solo for a bit. I don't know if I'm gonna make too much progress though. So now that we know Joe Gould, what do we do about that? Where do I go from here? I feel like I'd have to either talk to Joe Gould. Uh... Ah, double check at Cube Star Films. Come in. I'm not sure oh, where to go hello. next. Make yourself at home. I <laughs> always do. Ask about Ilsa. Ah. Cute cat. Thanks. But she's not mine. She was Frank's. Right, that's and just between you and cat. me, she's not very friendly. Cute cat. Thanks. Just... Have you ever heard of Joe Gould or the Joe Gould Fund? Sorry. No. No. Can you give me the address? Of Frank's old apartment? Why? I just wanted to look around. Right, this is what I, I thought again. was uh, another... Research? You're very dedicated, but I'm afraid the answer is no. I'd like to give Frank some bit of dignity. Mm. Are you sure you can't give me Frank's address? It would really help my research if I could look around. Everything you need to know about Frank you can find on the internet. I don't feel comfortable having a stranger look through his things. Okay. Was the pizza any clues so far? Uh, no. There was a few more dialogue for the Frank's apartment, and we can ask about the cat, Elsa, but that doesn't lead anywhere. Well, thanks for the oh, chat, Oh, here we are? Yeah. I don't know where to go next. She said everything we can learn about Frank we can learn online. We need his apartment. I guess I can go back to the gallery? Right, they said art types would know, so coming back here would make oh, sense. Oh, hi again! Hi. You got home okay? I think Nish had to half carry you out of here. <laughs> Was I that bad? Well, originally I thought I had bought too much wine. It turns out I didn't have to worry, so thanks! <laughs> uh, sure. <laughs> no problem. Anyway, I have to go over some stuff. Feel free to look around. No, wait, I need you. Hi, Josie? Yes? Hi, Josie. Can I talk to you for a bit more? I'm kind of swamped, but okay. But okay. How are you? Uh, Tell sure. me about Claude. Oh, I found him on the street. Literally. He made his living painting street scenes and selling them to tourists. But he's too much of a genius for that. Don't you think so? Oh, yes. Definitely. See? I knew he was the right choice for this gallery. Gonna butter her up. How much do these paintings cost? Oh, I can't reveal the prices until the public exhibit. But if you're interested in any of them, let me know. I'll discount it for you. Oh, no thanks. I'm not really in the market for any art right now. Translation, she can't afford it. Oh, alright. But if you change your mind, let me know. Who can afford art? Let's be real here. <laughs> so, how's everything going? Oh, you know. Busy, busy. This is my first public opening. I want it to be just right. Okay, now for the big question. Have you ever heard of Joe Gould or the Joe Gould Fund? No, sorry. Damn it. Where's the artist man? <laughs> he would know, maybe. Do you know anything about Frank Lyon's death? Spooky, isn't it? Imagine someone just dying of a heart attack right in front of you. Poor Monique must have been traumatized. Yeah, traumatized all the way to the bank. <laughs> do you know anything about Frank Lyons' spoo- okay, yeah. that's the same. How, about How well do you know Monique Stallman? She's a nice lady, although I don't think she'll be back. She didn't seem to really appreciate Claude's work. I'm sorry. No worries. It's not everybody's cup of tea. Kai? How long have you been in business? Not long, just a few days now. This loft opened up and I just nabbed it. Real estate in this neighborhood is harder to get than you'd think. This was a loft? Did a good job transforming it real quick. Hmm. Do you know where Frank Lyons lived by any chance? I don't know. LA? That's where all the Hollywood people live. Oh god. 
What happened? <laughs> she said he lives in LA. <laughs> Thanks, Josie. I'd better oh, get gosh. going. Sure, Rosangela. I'll see you at the Wait, opening let's... tomorrow. Can you go back to um, the cat? The cat? I can, but real quick. Because I, I didn't get a chance to see what the heck, uh, what the dealio with, is with the cat, you know? Okay. This is just I'll the fire exit. The if you. I need to leave, I'll go out the way I came. I was just wondering if I could find that street artist. Because we need information on Joe Gould. Hold it on. seems. Dun, dun. Oh, the cat's Come inside. In. Didn't you see the cat inside? Oh, well, it hello. wasn't raining again? earlier. <laughs> oh, hello again. I'm just gonna. Hey, kitty. Ouch! She scratched me. Careful. That was Frank's cat. She's oh, that's Frank's one. cat? Yeah, that was the guy who died's cat. She's a little black Wait. cat. I don't recognize the breed. She's wearing that's a little a collar cat. with an ID tag. Oh, we need that collar. Can we do anything? Hey, little fella. Oh. Good job. All right, Elsa. Let's see what's on your ID tag. 12th Street and Avenue A. Hopefully that's where we need to be. Good thinking to come back here, man. I didn't pay attention to the fact the cat was inside because it's raining. I, I thought you noticed. I was like, why is the cat on the couch now? Nope, didn't even notice. Look the at the way the she's staring. It's sometimes cat, easy you know? to forget that animals can see me. Hey, little. Okay. Oh, something I want to do with him while we're here. Ah, the quivering of her back means that I did good. <laughs> really? Ah, the... Okay. <laughs> hmm, I have to say... <laughs> I did that one for Joey. I figured he would do something, because I didn't left-click on her. Yeah. Oh. At least it said it feels good down here, too. Yeah. Frank oh, okay. Lyons. Frank's Her apartment. Door. His apartment isn't next to ours. <laughs> no. Yes. Door. One of Frank's neighbors, I assume. That's not I'm Frank's door. That's... that's Frank Lyons' door, or at least it used to be. I don't know. She's not gonna get Locked. in. Duh. Let the ghost. Once do the again, work. it's up to the dead guy to sort things out. Be my guest. Don't we have the paperclip? Danny, we're not gonna break in there at that guy's apartment when we could totally break in. I mean, not break into that guy's apartment. This place is looking nice. This it's apartment still, looks really great. Looks like it's a lit up. water bowl for the cat. Oh, there's still some food left in there. Oh, this is the company's apartment. Frank's now, that's television. True. Cold and silent. I don't recognize anybody in those photographs. Looks like a poster for a B-grade Arabian Nights flick. Frank Lyons has got top billing. It's a movie poster. Looks like hard-boiled detective schlock. Frank Lyons starred in it. Hard-boiled detective schlock. Oh, sweet! A ball of yarn. For the cat, I guess. Does it want a hug? I think that's the script. <laughs> Maybe Frank on had a the, cold before he died. Table. At least I hope so. I don't want to think about what those tissues were for. <laughs> don't know what I could do with it. You know they're for <laughs> yanking it. It looks like a still from a movie. Hey, picture. Goes from like the I think I recognize Frank in the background. Them. Well, I mean, Frank didn't all. He wasn't always a ghost. No, Joey. Looks like oh, Frank Joey. was a collector of old he film knows. reels. <laughs> what he played them on? No, he's a ghost from that. <laughs> I think this is called a VHS tape. It plays movies. It's supposed to be the latest thing. VHSs in 2007? No, those are film reels. He doesn't know what they are. No, but there's a VHS tape here. That's what oh. he's talking about next to the film reels. He knows what the film reels are. A bunch of magazines related to the film business. But a VHS tape in 2007? It's nice to see fuck? that some things never change. Oh, 
when was this game actually made? Because they're predicting the future, aren't they? No, uh, it, it could just be that he's a collector of film reels. I don't know, that seems a little weird to me. I mean, oh, that, 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 that makes sense, if he's a collector, but... There's a whole bunch of movie collection around here. What am I supposed to do? I think, I think it makes sense. Looks like a film Yeah. Stretch. Like, I collect animation cells that, you know... <laughs> you're right, you're right. Hey, we got the scene! Yeah. I knew you'd come. How did you know I'd come? I know you, Yvonne, perhaps too well. Listen, I have to tell you something. Come on, I'm both going to leave any minute. I'm not going. Not going? What do you mean you're not going? I said I'm not going. You're staying? Yes, I'm staying here with Tom. So deny twice, and then say we're staying here with Tom. Mm-hmm. It's a poster for a romantic comedy. Looks like our boy Frank had a supporting role. Anything else? I don't think so. Okay. I guess we got what we came for. You sure this guy was in pictures? He didn't even have a hot tub. Was he supposed to? If I was in pictures, I'd have a hot tub. Well, naturally. Although, I did find something interesting. What? There was a piece of paper just lying on a table. Do you remember what was on it? Of course I do. <laughs> Sounds like a film script. Probably the last thing he worked on before he died. You ever hear these lines in a flick before? No. I haven't gone to the movie since, well, you. Eh, makes no difference. It's probably not important. Alright, well, I guess we can go and do that now. Oh, we have the hey script Joey, in here. do you remember what was written on that piece of paper? Yeah, because he do. mentioned to you, he's like, of course I do. Oh, wait, right. and this is just him remembering. Okay. Now you can go back and tell your line. Let's act for the sake of... Crap, I went here. to the wrong place. Come in. Because I want to see Monique again, obviously. <laughs> bye. Hi, bye. Just checking up on you, babe. Uh, where's the park? Right. right, all the way on the right. What do you mean? No. What do, what you, do mean? you mean? I again. I knew you'd come. I knew you'd come. How did you know I'd come? I know you, Vaughn. Perhaps too well. Uh. Right. I have to tell you something. Come on. The boat's going to leave any minute. And then... I'm, I'm not, not going. going. Not going? What do you mean you're not going? I'm not going. Pete, so... I said I'm not going. You're staying? Yes, I'm staying here with... Um... Tom. Tom? 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 What's that idiot have that I don't? He's, uh... He's a good man, Zack, and he needs me. And what about me? You don't need me, Zack. You never did. Huh? That's not in the script. Wait, Wait let's, let's talk, talk about, about this. this. Just forget me. Be free. Yvonne. Wait. Yvonne. Yvonne. Yvonne? All right. Finished. Finally. Hey, Monique, when's the rap party again? Monique? Where is she? Where is everybody? Hey, come on, guys. This is weird. Where did everybody go? Come on, guys. Where are you? I'm gonna switch the jack. Something wrong, Frank? Everyone was here just a minute ago. Were they? Of course they were. I finished the scene with Rebecca, and then... Something's not right. Something is not right. I was here, filming the scene. Something happened. Here it comes. Oh, <laughs> I'm dead, aren't I? Yeah. <laughs> I'm dead, aren't I? I'm a ghost and I'm haunting my last film shoot. That's so cliche. <laughs> I'm sorry, Frank. I really am. So what now? Just relax, and take a hold of this. Okay, do it. Do it! 
He was pretty trusting after that. Ow! I gotta work on my landings. <laughs> it's so bright. Work on my landing. It should hurt my eyes, but it doesn't. I don't think it's real light. I'm not sure what it is. It's beautiful. Just head towards it, Frank. That's all you need to do. You know, my very first acting role was a ghost. I was eight years old. We put on a Halloween play in the third grade. I played Scary Ghost Number Three. Funny the things you remember. It wasn't a bad life, was it? I might not have made it big, but I made it somewhere. How many can say the same, huh? Hmm. Uh. You wanna butter him up before we send them off? Sure. You're bigger than you think. Really? The movie was a big hit. Everyone knows your name now. They do? Figures. I'm famous, and all I had to do was <laughs> get choked to death. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? You weren't choked. You had a heart attack. No, I was choked. I remember it distinctly. The news reports all said it was a heart attack. No disrespect, but I think I know how I died. The large hands around my neck? You don't forget a thing like that. Oh, Why would boy. the press lie about how you died? I don't know. You'd think that they'd love a story about a murder. Funny. It doesn't even bother me. I think I'm ready to go. Wait, hold on a second. No can do. I gotta fly. No can do. See you around. I told you everything. Just a few questions. <laughs> He's like, I'm out, bitches. But choking again? These developers seem to really like choking. Wow. Were huh? you out that long? Huh? Uh-oh. Uh... Hey, what the... I'm warning you. You? No, oh, no, it can't be. I can still help you. No, oh, you're dead, aren't you? So many dead. So many blight upon the earth. Tell me something I don't know. Oh. Did you kill she Frank? Killed the, uh... I helped him. I get no thanks. You want me to thank you? How about you buzz off? I can help you. You are still in pain. So much pain. No way. Not again. This ends now. Why do you resist? Resist? I'll show you resist. I see you. I know you. You don't know Jack, lady. Get off me. Punch Shall him. We? Clear off, kid. Get back. It's her. After all this time. Hey. You stay away from her, you hear me? I... I'm sorry. Now we I got ghosts you know, murdering people. I think she killed the Trouble. jumper guy in the beginning. Probably. She's helping. No! No, I don't think well, she killed the jumper well, guy. What? The guy who committed she? suicide? Her. She's well, nobody's sweetheart. He said, I, I was Just confused, but I don't know what happened. She attacked you, Joey. Why did she do that? Yeah. He remembered no what happened idea. to you him. You think I've got all the answers? Like, did I fall? Well, you're wrong. Like, I'm I, just in the dark I as you are. I did. You're yeah. lying. Like, you I only recognized her, and she knew you. Relax. Tell me, yeah. Joey, please. No, he committed suicide. <laughs> I think you're forgetting yeah, no, the dialogue that occurred. She calls herself the no, Countess. No, but I think it's She's just from an too old much case. of coincidence, Back you know? when I was with your aunt. She was alive then, and just as crazy. Tell me. Look, it's late. You want to be up all night, or you want the short version? What the... Long version, bitch. But before I click that, I'm pretty sure that's just a tutorial ghost to get you to know how to play this game. It doesn't seem at all like it would be related. Also, he did say he jumped. He didn't so say he was say. choked or anything. Oh, well, I think it was independent case. I don't think he said he he said he didn't remember how he died though. Fully. Like, no, he like, remembered. But it's like, but no, he said I fell. No, he said I fell, didn't I? But he said, but I, I wasn't trying to commit suicide though. He didn't say that. He did. Maybe he, he was, was pushed. Confused. I don't know. If there is a connection there, that that seems a little bit like a long shot, but it could be. Anyway. Tell me everything. <laughs> we thought she was a raving loony at first. We'd see her on the street ranting like a crazy woman. We were investigating these two ghosts. Both had been killed by an old woman. Didn't take much deduction to put two and two together. So she was killing people? Not exactly. She thought she was freeing people. You see, she was a medium. A medium? Like me? Like Auntie? 
Yeah, only she didn't have a spirit guide. There was this reporter, Joseph Mitchell. Somehow they formed a bond. He didn't know it, but whoever he wrote about, she would go and kill. She was freeing their spirits, which is what you mediums do best. But they were still alive. She didn't seem to realize that. In the end, she tried to free your Aunt Lauren. So, we stopped her. You stopped her? How? We just did. So what now? Her spirit is seeking revenge? I don't think so. Why now? Why all this time? Besides, I saw her die. There was no ghost. So she's not a ghost? I don't know what she is. Let's talk about this in the morning. Right now I'm taking a hot shower and going to bed. Sure, sure, I'll hold the fort. Oh, got the uh, whispering going on again. The only thing I can look at is the portrait. Poor deluded man, enthralled to a madness that even he could not explain. A madness called the Countess. I... I know you. We have spoken before, but it is not important. But hush, aren't you tired? You need to rest. Tired? Shh, just sleep. That's it, sleep. Tomorrow you will wake up energized and refreshed. You will not remember me, but don't worry. We will meet very shortly. How unnecessarily mysterious. Good morning. You're perky today. Sleep well? Yeah, I did. I've been thinking. Too much has happened for this to be mere coincidence. What do you mean? In the gallery? There was a painting. A painting ah, of it. her. <laughs> really? I knew it looked familiar, but I didn't recognize what? it until now. What did it look oh, like? the painting we head over was of the count. Yeah, you did call that. Okay, looks like we're gonna go check it out. There's not Come much on, crazy let's get going. Ways. It's about let's, time. Let's know, scram. Black and white. Oh wait, let's check our email too. Oh. Alright. I also want to talk to Joey and get Joey? some more background info. What is it? Then I'll walk back in. This elevator is taking forever. Yeah, how about that? I have an idea. How about pushing the button? Oh, right. <laughs> well, let's get going. After you, Ben. Oh, I was hoping they had some sure. other chat. Joey, come here. What could it uh, Get out of the way of the That's door, sure. Joey. Why don't you just use the tap button? <laughs> Lazy. Wait, do you have anything to Let's say talk. in here? What could it? How'd the Countess learn to fight like that? You call that fighting? She was kicking your ass. I would have got her in the end. <laughs> How'd the Countess learn? You call... Okay. Uh. Wait. Choked. I know he's dead and all, but this is kind of cool. I've never met anyone famous before. Just don't ask him for an autograph. Jeez. So what should we- I told you, that gal- We should go and- oh, I didn't want to That's click all on that. Sure. Let's look up- You want to check the emails? Uh, you got to- Uh, nothing uh -huh. new. Damn it, never mind. <laughs> I don't know how much they're actually going to utilize that feature. But I guess we'll find out. You ready to go? I would guess minimal. If they do. Uh, I guess. It's probably just a, it seemed like it was get you up to speed on what had happened and what is going on. Shouldn't this place be open by now? There. It's her. I knew it. Now look at that and tell I me this not. isn't a coincidence. Stupid old hag. We'll find you. Just see if we don't. Definitely looks like the woman from the other night, but she looks sad. It's just a lighthouse. I wonder which one. He always does street art, so it should be one that actually exists. Looks like it's just outside the city. Maybe I should look up lighthouse. We can talk to I her. 
Hi, Josie. Can I talk to you for a bit more? Maybe I'm we can ask her about the but okay. woman in the painting, the Countess painting. I'd like to know more about that painting there. Oh, the Dark Lady. It's different than his other paintings. I'm worried the investors won't like it, but Claude insists. What do you want to know? Uh, Why can you yeah. tell me about the Dark Lady? Well, it's different, isn't it? Claude's work is mostly abstract, but this is actually of a specific subject. Did Claude ever say why? No, but she's definitely striking. She strikes all right. I still got the scars. Claude gets weird when I ask <laughs> who she is or why he put her in front of the Roosevelt Island Lighthouse. I figure it's just one of those eccentric Roosevelt artist Island. things. The Roosevelt Island Lighthouse, huh? Uh, okay. It's been a while since I've been over there. Updated this uh, itself. Uh, Where can I Claude? find Claude? Knowing him, he's probably preparing for tonight. Preparing? You know, glug glug. He's hitting the sauce. He's hitting the sauce. You mentioned something about investors. Oh yes, the Meltzer Foundation. They paid for everything. The renovation, the lights, everything. I've got to pay them back eventually, of course, but still. Man, you're not gonna sell any of this art, you so sweet. <laughs> Meltzer oh, yeah. Uh... Can you tell me anything about the Meltzer Foundation? Oh, those guys are a godsend. Without them, I never would have been able to open this place. I presented them with my plan for the gallery, and poof! They wrote me a check. That's pretty generous. Boy, that sounds dangerous. I never dangerous. thought I was venture capital material, but go figure. I'll have to pay them back, of course, and give them a percentage of our income. But look around. <laughs> it's my life's dream realized. <laughs> sound like loon sharks. Yeah. Thanks, Josie. I better. Sure, as Angela. I'll see you at. Opening tonight. All right. Uh, we can go check on the artist guy first, or we could go to the lighthouse first. What are you feeling? Uh, let's go to the first of all. Okay. Uh, unless we hit the bar. I don't see any ghosts. Do you sense anything? Nope. Seems clean to me. Really? You well, sure? We should have hit the I bar. I said there's nothing here. Well, no ghosts anyway. No, I'm actually wondering why are we still working this case? Because we already did our job, right? But I guess we're getting involved in the Countess now. Yeah, the Countess is the next important point. Let's just hit the bar, actually. Go. Well, while well, I'm here. I read a book about this place years ago. Nobody uses this lighthouse anymore. It's just a historic monument. That is the smallest lighthouse I've ever seen. I read a book about this place. Nobody. Perspective? I read a book about. No. Maybe perspective? I don't know about that. Wait. I don't see anything else here, yeah. It's a lighthouse. Don't know who it's for. It's not like any ships come through here. It's a light. Th All right. To the bar. I guess we're leaving. To the bar. We don't even wear an umbrella. We should be soaked at this point. A little bit. Sup, Claude? Ooh, wait. Maybe I can listen in on their conversation. You mentioned that before. Hmm. He doesn't seem to notice. Tough customer. He's so hammered he doesn't notice. Wow. If I still had a nose, I could smell the whiskey from here. He looks capable enough. I wonder how strong his... Okay. Nothing going on. Claude? Rosangela Blackwell, the writer. Come on over. Have a drink. You remember Damn, me. he's drunk. Who could forget someone who could down three glasses <laughs> yeah, of claret in half an hour? <laughs> <laughs> Man. I'd to like you. to talk to you about your work. I'd love to, but I'm not drunk enough. Okay. Bit early to be drinking. Says the woman who had to be carried home the other night by an old Indian lady. Uh. My opening is tonight, and I intend to be well and truly plastered. It's the only way I'll be able to bear it. I really like that painting of yours, the dark lady. <laughs> My paintings aren't meant to be liked. They are meant to be understood. But nobody does. I feel like Joe Gould sometimes. Mm. 
you know about Joe Gould. Sure I do. He was one of the city's last geniuses. Or maybe he was just nuts. I don't know. Maybe I'm just nuts too. Either way, he's famous now. Thanks to Joseph Mitchell. Did he just say Joseph Mitchell? Yeah, he did. Joseph oh. Mitchell? Because they already said Joe Gould got killed by the Countess, the other woman, so Joseph Mitchell probably wrote about Joe Gould. Because he likes people and stuff. Anyway. Like, could people. you tell me more about Joe Gould? He was a genius, really. No matter what anybody else says, he paid attention to the world. Actually talked to people. And he wrote it all down. Every last word. Why? He was trying to find the connections that bring everyone and everything together, simply by observing and cataloging everything he, he saw. He called it the oral history. Nowadays, you'd call it blogging. And that made him a genius? Think about it. After Joseph Mitchell wrote Gould's biography, Mitchell never wrote again. No other subject could be as satisfying. <laughs> Gould was that interesting. It was said that the city's unconscious was trying to speak through Sorry for laughing at that. Maybe it was true, maybe it no wasn't. No problem. But I, I know where you're getting at. Thing, I call that genius. He's so full of it. Well, he doesn't know any better, but we already know better. <laughs> he just stopped writing because he was scared of killing people. Could you what tell me more about Joseph thing? Mitchell? Another of the city's great geniuses. Gone. He could talk to you for five minutes and then write a biography that made you seem like the most fascinating person alive. They wouldn't be alive for long. <laughs> but then he stopped writing. Nobody knows why, at least not for sure. He published a book about Joe Gould, and then poof, no more writing. He went to his office at the New Yorker every day for 30 years, but never wrote a single word. I don't think it pays just for walking in the office and not do anything, you know? Yeah, he, he, he knew how to work for the right way. We should learn from him, whatever his secret is. Could you tell me more about- What's to say? He wrote a book about Joe Gould at- Yeah, just go in. Okay. Uh, Can right you tell something. me anything about the Meltzer Foundation? Those I'll are the fund. guys who are funding Josie's gallery? Yeah. You'd have to talk to Josie about them. I'd just throw colors at a canvas. Okay, okay. Could you tell me more about Joe Gould? This city won't see Where the likes of him again, I'll tell you that much. That was the other guy. I was going through the two. You come here often? Enough. It's old-fashioned, you know. Hmm. You come here. Enough. Okay. Do you know anything about Frank Lyons, the actor? He died a few months ago, didn't he? Yeah. Never saw his work. Don't go to the movies much. Do you know Monique Stallman? She was at the gallery the other night, yeah? Uh-huh. She told me my work was off. I liked her. She insulted your work, but you <laughs> liked her. Sure. She was honest. She didn't pretend to be awed by it like all the other phonies do. Honestly, it's nice. Right, I what do you I'll think of the park gallery? It's all right, I guess. I don't know what Josie sees in my stuff. She doesn't understand it at all. She likes it enough to risk her money on it. Liking it isn't the same as understanding it. Still, Josie's been good to me. How could I say no? Okay. I'd really like to know more about the dark lady. I have a rule. I don't talk about my work unless I'm drunk enough. How drunk is that? I'm not sure, but I'm working on it. Okay, we need to get him another beer. Oh, yeah. Hi there. Got time for some more questions? Sure, ask away. Uh... Have you ever heard of a reporter named Joseph Mitchell? No, sorry. Probably uh, nothing uh, from him's gonna help. Uh, could just. Joey get a drink for him? How would Joey get a drink for him? Can you tell me anything about the Meltzer Foundation? No, sorry. Yeah, I don't think we'll get anything from him. Can I, like, touch the oh, drinks? Oh, I wish. Nope, he wishes. Years ago, uh, I could tell you those days are... Maybe... After the other night? No way. Ah, oh, come on. He needs more beer! Alright, well, with the information we have, what else could we possibly do at the moment? We have Joseph Mitchell here. We could, like, look this stuff up. The Meltzer Foundation and Joseph Mitchell, because she doesn't know. 
Should I just look that info up? Mm, I thought we already did. No, we just got those two unlocked. No, 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 we already had Joseph. We had them from the other game. The, the Joe? <laughs> Not this game, Joseph Mitchell. Oh, uh, no, no, we did look up Joseph Mitchell, remember? We looked up Joe Gould. Oh, right, I looked them then, up on my own time. Yeah, and then we, when we did find them, he's like, oh, he died 20 years later. Not right, right. thing afterwards. And You're we were right. like, I forgot I did that. Yeah, we were in okay. awe. Like, wow. How we can he, look how up he... the Meltzer. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, how did he get paid for not doing anything? Skillfully. Very skillfully. In, in New York, you know. Hey. I'm not successful, but. I, I clearly don't know the methods to be successful, like Joseph Mitchell did. Alright. Let's see what we can learn. Meltzer Foundation. Okay, we can go there. Is there anything else that I want to look up? Really? Can leave the apartment and go there? Yep, I'm sounds like a are. good plan. Yeah, let's blow this popsicle stand. Yeah. Let's blow this place. Oh my, we have yes. two guys Hi. here. Is this the Meltzer Foundation? Yes. Oh, good. I was hoping to ask you a few questions. Paul, this one's for you. Hmm? <laughs> oh, sure thing. Come on over and step into my office. Step in my office, even though there's no wall, really, but all right. So, hey, I'm Paul office. Meltzer, and my silent partner over there is my brother, Charlie. Rosangela Blackwell. A pleasure. So, what can we do for you? I was hoping to talk to you about what you do here. Really? Well, well, well. We're moving up in the world, Charlie. Uh-huh. So, Rosangela, you with a newspaper? I'm sort of freelance. Struggling, eh? Well, that's what the Melter Foundation is all about. <laughs> Isn't that right, Charlie? Uh-huh. Well, as How the hell do they make money? That's, uh... You put other people in your debt. Uh, but how do you give them the money initially? That's a damn good question. How do you get involved in these kinds of businesses? I am curious. I will do my research. You, <laughs> you take out your own loans. I was you wondering what you do have here. Fun struggling no, I wonder that myself. <laughs> hey, Charlie, what do we do here? We give away money, Paul. That's right. We're into private investments. We grant risk-free capital to struggling businesses. You really just give away money? <laughs> no, not exactly. It's about giving money away wisely. You heard the man. If you want the lowdown on what we do, just ask. Well, we're asking. Uh, well, Josie Park told me that you invested in her gallery. You know Josie. How is she doing? She's fine, I guess. We're both rooting for her. Right, Charlie? Sure. <laughs> I don't like Charlie. Josie Park told me you know okay. she Sure. Are you familiar with Mona Charlie Stallman or Cubestar guy. films? Why do you ask? No reason. Do you know anything about Frank Lyons, the actor? Oh, of course. Done. Can you believe it? A heart attack so. at his age. He looked healthy. Of course, who knows what kind of drugs those actors take. I probably might log off in 17 minutes just because I have to wake up early tomorrow. Hey, no problem. When you log off, I will save it since we're going through this together. Gotcha. Have you ever been to a bar called the Mineta? Mm, no, sorry. Let's talk to you like, uh... Oh, I'm not done with this one yet. Have you ever <laughs> okay. heard of Joe Gould or the Joe Gould Fund? <laughs> mm, no, sorry. Tell me more about the foundation. Let's say you have a brilliant idea for a business, but you've made some mistakes in the past. You've got bad credit or were in debt for a long time. Oh, they time. are long charge. No reputable bank in the yeah, country would give course. you a loan. Or if they did, They'd charge you a fortune in interest, but not us. We believe in a second chance. We'll loan you the money to kickstart your business in return for a share of the profits. 
If your business takes off, wonderful, we both win. If not, we're the one who pays for it. <laughs> your foundation is pretty generous. Well, we don't give money to just anybody. Charlie over there is in charge of separating the wheat from the chaff. When someone comes to us with their handout, Charlie does his research and makes sure that they are worth the risk. You wouldn't believe some of the bums we get in here. Oh, I believe Anything it. Anything else you can tell me about the foundation? Oh, yeah. Free money. I've given you the basic boom, idea. Boom. There's nothing else really to tell you. Have you ever heard of a reporter named Joseph Mitchell? Hmm, that name sounds familiar. He was oh, a reporter shoot. for the New Yorker magazine. Hey, that's it. Charlie used to work there. Hey, Charlie, did you know Joseph Mitchell? Everyone knew him, Paul. He was a living legend. A living legend? Living How about legend. That? Interesting. Have them? you ever heard of a reporter named Joseph uh, Mitchell? Hmm. Dialogue. He, he, okay, I guess we'll switch a talking well, thanks partner. for talking to me. I might be back later. Sure thing. Here, take my card. If you have any questions, just email. Oh, so you're on B-mail too. <laughs> Is it everybody? <laughs> no! Wait! No! God, did you see that chick walk? She waddles like a duck. Huh? Our reporter friend. She's kind of your type. What do you mean? Yeesh, Charlie. Come up for air. She walked right past your desk. I didn't see any duck. Never mind. Yeah, stay, stay put, kid. I'm gonna snoop around. Shoot. That's neat. <laughs> He's so engrossed in his book, he didn't even notice. Must be losing my touch. Hey, when are we going to get a real company email address? What's wrong with the one we've got? Oh, come on. B mail? Who is going to take us seriously when we only got a B mail account? It does the job. <sighs> At least we have a real internet connection. Although, I don't trust this wireless crap. <laughs> He's reading a book called Best Accountant Practices, 4th Edition. Sounds thrilling. Hey, Charlie, is this wireless internet thing safe? How'd you get him to stay? Of course it's safe. Uh, that automatically that happened. Give you cancer. I really? won't give you cancer, Paul. Then maybe you should sit It won't point. give you cancer, give it a rest, Paul. <laughs> These things are way beyond me. I can't stand this B-mail account. What's the problem now? I'm getting all sorts of spam. I got three from this tomo person. See? The heck is tomo is illusion. Just delete them, Paul. Tomo is that weird one who sent us a thing. Doesn't it bother okay. you that anybody that with email awesome. software can log into our email? Only if they have your password, Paul. Ooh. Just don't tell anybody and you'll be fine. Oh, we need is his that password. Is park down there? Man, it's changed a ton since my day. What's wrong with the one we got? Oh, come Shit. on. B mail. Oh, okay, just saying the same thing. Real but can we that, can that popped up immediately and I clicked. That's what do you want me to do? Blow on it? Hey, Charlie, is this wireless in Of course. I did. It won't. Then maybe. Give it a rest. Okay, this is going to the same play, three lines. He wants people to think he does. Modern art job. I don't get it. I can't stand this B. What's the problem? I'm getting all sorts of spam. Just delete. Modern art job. I can't. Okay. What else is here? Doesn't it bother you that anybody with B-mail software can lock? Only if they have us. Don't tell them. Is that bad? He seems pretty hard at work. Yeah, I will. Charlie, did you turn on the AC? No, not me. Hey, my internet just went down. Stupid wireless. Oh. It should come up again in a minute. Finally, the internet's back up. Oh, hey, Charlie. Joe. That was us. Yeah. Again. Don't you remember anything? It's tennis 53. Just write it down. No way. Someone might find it. All right, tennis 53. What's the email hey, address? What to get a real... What's wrong with the? Oh come on. Do we get a business card? It does the job. <laughs> oh right, we do have a business card. These call. things Card. are way beyond. Okay, tennis 53. Hey, of course. I just it won't give you. Give it. I kind of wish they didn't talk every single damn second. Death. I can understand that. I mean, it was realistic. It's just if they were talking, could it happen in the background so we can keep moving the character? I have to skip it. 
That might have been a too advanced for <laughs> this game's time. I don't think this game was that old. Alright, Tennis 53. I have to look at the business card because I don't know where we're going. PaulM at bmail.com. What? Oh, they don't have that at. Okay, from Josie Park. Hi, Paul. Just a quick letter to let you know everything is going great. Our new artist is fantastic, and I can't wait for. God damn it, I hate that. No, that's right. The opening tomorrow, you will come, won't you? After all, you made this possible, Josie Park. Charles Met. Oh, this is the other guy. I'm gonna be out of the office next week to meet with the charming widow. Could you do me a favor and check my email while I'm away? If I get anything important, give me a shout. Paul, what do you mean you don't remember my password? I picked it specifically so both you and I would remember it. I'm going to drag you screaming into the digital age if it kills me. <laughs> Special offer. Come on. Yeah. Contact Tomo. Should I want to contact Tomo. Can we do we that? Tried, we looked it up. Right. Don't be silly, Paul. Of course you can talk to artists. It's not hard. If you're nervous, just Google artists. It will tell you everything you need to know. Okay. Paul, the password is that silly name you called me when we were kids. If you've forgotten, I'm sure as heck I'm not going to remind you. Charles. Crap. Do we have to go back in there and spy on them? Probably. Alright. Oogle. Artists. What not to say to an artist? This painting is good. <laughs> Be more thoughtful. Tell the artist why it is provocative to you personally. What is it? Not all art has to be of something specific. Alright, tell the artist what you think it represents. I like the colors. Yours is a subjective opinion. Ask the artist why the color choices were made. Many viewers are tactless when it comes to an artist's work. I hope this will help you avoid many of the pitfalls. Good luck. Wow, it's a how-to guide for with artists. Yeah. Uh, hey, are you done with that thing? It's getting kind of late. If you want to catch Claude at the gallery, we'd better head over. Oh, I guess it's night now. Yeah, I suppose we have Let's to get go. to the gallery your horses, then. William, I'm coming. No, my horses will not be held, Joey. Get your ass over here. Actually, this is a good place to pause. Do you want to call it here? Uh, yeah. Okay. So, Denny's got to go. We're going to save, and this will be our first two-parter, I suppose. Instead of auto save. Uh, we only started like seven or eight. We could have had a lot more done. Adventure. Okay. But that's alright. Anyway, I'll head out of here. I'm going to stop my stream. So if anyone's watching, I hope you enjoyed. And we'll continue part two but more. whenever we get to it. Hopefully this weekend. Yeah, hopefully. Alright. Okay. See you later, everybody. Take care.